This is a CSM 100 gallon a day membrane that I sell with my systems and it has a 98% rejection rate. So if you have a TDS of 100 in your area, this will take it down to two. And then your DI takes out the last two uh, TDS and gets you down to zero. Every membrane that I sell comes with a flow restrictor. Historically, it was this guy right here, but this is no more as of 2017. Now it's this guy. So I want you to see it because it's completely different in a totally different spot. When you get your membrane, it will have two O-rings on one end and then a big flat uh, type of gasket material on the center. That's important to know about. And when you open it up, you just have to tear the packaging, extract it, and you are ready to install this guy in your membrane. It is going to actually go in your housing this direction. And I want you to know that because you cannot put it in backwards, it won't work right. So let's do that, let's change one out. Normally to change the membrane housing, again, I keep picturing this is on the wall, secure. <laughs> We're working on a table where everything moves. But you would pop it off these clips on the top to get the membrane loose. And now we're gonna disconnect the tubing. And there's three pieces of tubing on this. There's one, this is the water going in. We remove the retaining clip. We push our thumbnail on the collet and extract the red tubing as best we can. There we go. And then we have the waistline and we have the product water or the good water. So these have to now be disconnected as well. Now, when you remove your waistline, there will be the old flow restrictor in it. And then we're gonna remove the good line. Before I go any further, I wanna point out something here. Let's just pretend these are still connected. You could put numbers on here, like right on your number one, number two, or you could put BK for black, BL for blue, and then R for red, so you know where all the tubing goes. Or take a picture with your cell phone before you take it apart, so you can compare to the photograph when you put it back together. Very, very important, great tip, so that way everything works when you're done. So now our membrane housing has been removed. Water will probably be trickling, trickling out of it. You can put a finger over the, the hole and move to a sink area to open it up. When it comes time to open this thing up, it's really hard. And I only hand tightened it shut when I built it for you, but it's still really hard. If you can get yourself a couple of strap wrenches at a place like Harbor Freight or Home Depot, that will make your life a lot easier. You put one strap around here and one around here and you'd leverage it open because when it's been sitting shut for a year, it really holds tight. So just so you know, the other choice is to get a buddy and say, you hold this end, I'll hold this and twist. And you work, you know, like lumberjacks trying to get it apart. It's kind of funny. You remove your cap. There is an O-ring also. Uh, the O-ring might stay in place for you. It might come off, it's okay. That's where it belongs, right there. And there is your membrane. To get the membrane out, use some needle nose pliers, grab the white hard plastic in the center, and you would pull it right out. And there is your membrane removed. Here's your housing, and it's ready for a new membrane to go in. We take our new membrane, ha, ah, brand new. And at this point, I would recommend using some silicone grease on the brand new washers out of that package you just tore open. I just happened to have some silicone grease right here. I found this at Home Depot on the aisle where all the valve stems are for like sinks. And you know, one of these things is probably, I don't know, a dollar or so. And you can use it on any O-ring. So you just apply it right to the black O-ring there. So that way it'll last forever. If you ever need a new O-ring, I keep them in stock. You can get some more from me right off the website. You'd lubricate those two O-rings on the end there. And if you want, you could put a little bit on the inside of this housing right here. And that will help it go in. Whenever you install a brand new RO system, or whenever you put in a brand new membrane for the first time, you have to run it for a solid hour to remove the food grade preservative that's inside the membrane. So you run it for one hour, about five gallons of water will be collected from the blue tubing and you throw that away. Don't use it for anything. Don't drink it, don't use it on your tank, don't use it for your pets, just throw it out. That was to get the food grade out and now it's ready to start making good water. Our membrane is installed, we have hand tightened it. I didn't use a wrench. And now we're gonna reinstall it back on top. We're gonna push it down into the housing clips. And then at this point, we would install the new flow restrictor. If you had a previous system from me that, and you removed the black tubing from your 
membrane housing, there will be a flow restrictor sticking out of it. Normally, it's pushed completely in, and it looks like that. And you would have to remove this. And the easiest way is to kind of get some needle nose pliers and kind of bite around it and work it right out of the tube. Remove this, it's done. Whenever you get a new membrane, you get a new flow restrictor with the membrane. In this case, we would cut this tubing because we're going with a different system now. I'm just gonna snip it. And we're gonna use our new flow restrictor, which has an arrow on it that shows the water goes one direction. The flow of the flow restrictor has to go toward the drain because this is on your drain line. So this is your tubing that was going into the wall. You push it into your little quick connect, push the other end on the other side, you can put your retaining clips in place on either side. And then it's gonna go on the, what I call the off center elbow of your membrane housing. Push it in, make sure it's in completely. I always double check. Yep, that's completely in. And something else I want to tell you about this, this spot, remember I told you it's off center. This one right here has a check valve in it. This one does not. If you swap the tubing, that's why the system doesn't work. This is that same fitting that was right here. And if you look, there's a little metal check valve inside there. So water can only go one way through this. So this is what's here. That's the one with the check valve. And you want to make sure your waistline does not have a check valve. Your good line gets a check valve. It's to prevent water from going back through the membrane in the wrong direction. So we've installed the black line, the waistline. And now we'll install the blue line. Put the little retaining clip in place. On the other side, we have to connect the red tubing back where it was on the membrane housing. And you would insert your red tubing and then you put your retaining clip on there. And now you're ready to make water all over again. Remember, run it for an hour to get the food grade preservative out of it.